Hi, I just wanted to show you how to do a few things on Google SketchUp. So Matt, this was this is a version of the bench that I made that's sort of similar to yours, but the exact design is not important. What is important is that um, I want to show you how to do dimensioning because the way you did dimensions on Google SketchUp makes them kind of inaccurate. So here's what I'm going to do. First, I'm just going to get rid of some of these measurement lines. So I'll use the arrow to select and then click it, and then I'm hitting delete to get rid of them. So let's, one thing that's going to be really important is to figure out the dimensions of the, um, of the wood you're going to use. So I'm going to go up above. I know you can't exactly see the menu right now, but I'm going to go to the tools menu and I'm going to go to dimensions. Then I'm going to, look, see that purple dot? That's an end point. So I'm going to click that and then draw to the other end point. So I want to know the length of this backboard. And I'm going to click that and I'm going to pull upwards and it will give me a dimension line saying three feet, which is great. And now the beautiful thing about dimensions in the SketchUp app is now if I turn this, no matter how I turn it, it's always visible. Notice how the three actually always turns to see me. The line doesn't turn, but the three is always facing me, just like the notations for hinge and lower hinge rod are also always facing the user. So let's do it with the other line. I'm going to go to tools, dimensions, and I want this end. So purple dot, click, move to the other end of the component you want, click, and now pull either outwards or upwards. I guess it's going to make me go outwards on this one. That's fine. So it's an inch and three, a foot and three inches deep. And let's say I even want to go to, so I'm using two fingers to zoom in. I want the height. So we'll go to orbit, which we're on, spin to the end. And let's get the height off the floor. So let's make the floor. Where actually would the floor be? So I'm going to select the rectangle tool hover over this red line, click, make make sure it's in the plane of the floor, and then draw it out, click it, so the gray is the floor, and I always want to remember it's the floor, so I'm actually going to go back to tools and go to 3D text, and I just want to say floor. Place it, and so I'll place it here. I'm not worrying too much, it says it's on the face exactly. I'm not worrying too much that it's facing the wrong way, but I do want it facing outwards. So I'm going to go to the Rotate tool. I'm going to place um, the protractor here until it's blue. So that means it's in the same plane as the text. So I'll click it once. And I'll draw a line out and click that. That's the reference line. And I could pivot it around, or what I'm just going to do is type 180, and it will go into the angle box down below. Because I want to flip around 180 degrees and hit Enter. Then I'm going to go to move and slide it a little, click it, slide it a little to the middle of the floor, click. Okay, so that's how to dimension it, make a floor, um, and let's see, the last thing I wanted to show was, can we go straight up and down? So I'm going to use a measurement line because sometimes that's easy to draw lines where there's no line. So I'm going to click the end point here on the board and go straight down. I want to be the line to be blue. Okay, because that means it's vertical. I'll click, and so there's a line, and I just wanted to mention that that invisible line. There's nothing there, but where is endpoint? And then, oh, it's not dimensioning it because it's not a real line. There we go. So hopefully that's about right. That does not quite seem like it's doing. It. There we go. There, and so. I clicked it, hovered, and pulled out to the side, and it's saying it's one foot five and seven eighths inches above the ground. So hopefully this helped you. Could you please do this to your drawing in Google SketchUp and then print it? So you can actually go to File, Print, and it will print this with the dimensions on it, as you can see there. Okay, thanks. Bye.